Okay, so this video is specifically for people who know what a group of schools is. And in this episode, I'm going to focus on a school in Kenya called Brookhouse. And if you've been uh, a Twitter person for a minute now, and even someone who's uh, more interested in trending news or trending topics, you already know that there is a pending court case between the parents who have kids in Brookhouse and the management of the school, or basically the ownership of the schools. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about that mostly because the school is trending on Twitter. And even though I had already done a video for today, I posted it called Way Back Thursdays. So you need to go check it out. If you're watching this on YouTube, click here. You're going to see it. I already posted the video and then someone sent me a link and they're like, you need to check out this story. I know it does not fall under the topics that you talk about, mostly education, but it has a money aspect. So when I saw it, I figured, why not? So this is going to be a bonus video for anyone who has already watched the other video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sebastian and welcome to Recognize Entrepreneur. Around here we talk about all this stuff. What is happening in the business and tech spaces. But we have segments that sort of make this channel the go-to channel. For example, on Friday we have a segment called Employed where I just call one of the subscribers on this channel and get to talk to them about the employment situation. So if you're the, if you're the kind of person that likes to talk and maybe you want someone to vent to, feel free to subscribe and leave your contact information in the description section and I'm going to reach out to you. Anyway, so the story is that parents of Brookhouse School are suing the management or the owners of the school and telling them that they need to sort of cut down how much they are charging people. And I'm going to try and pull up my computer screen here. So in the first page, and there's a reason, don't mind this thing. This <laughs> There's this, uh, I don't know what animal that is, but don't mind it. So if you don't know what Brookhouse is, it's a school, a private school in Kenya. And it's among the top tier schools in Kenya. And this is the building. So if you look at the news on the side, it's court case orders Brookhouse School to offset 50% of third term fees, suspend online classes for kindergarten to year four after parents sue. So how are kids who are in kindergarten uh, attending online classes. That is something, first of all, that blew my mind. Then number two, we're going to talk about the very reason why we are here. So today morning, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but this minute somehow found their way to Twitter today morning. And it's basically um, like minutes of the meeting that happened between the school uh, management and their lawyers vis-a-vis -vis the people um, that were representing the parents. And I just want to talk about the specific. Okay, I don't know if my sound is wavering. I just want to talk about the specific um, points. There are specific points that caught my attention. So, at the beginning of it, Mr. Nsouli, who's Nsouli? I think that's the owner of the school. Introduction meeting because lawyers number one, Mr. Nsouli. Okay, I think that's the lawyer, uh, like a representative of the school. The first page, as you can see, does not have a lot. Uh, the school goes ahead to say that they are a premium brand and if your kid is going to the school, they're actually doing you a favor. Not directly, but te technically, that's what they're saying. So if you don't buy into the idea of brands, then being at Brookhouse is not the option you should be going for. And then, uh, I'm just gonna try and run through the pointers. So Mr. Suli has suffered from COVID-19. So he says it's a real thing. I think this is the, the initial uh, petty, is it petty, not petty, uh, small talk that usually starts when in every uh, high profile meeting or any other meeting, people start, have you ever gone to a date and just met this person for the first time and you really don't know where to start the conversation from? So those first 20, 30 minutes that you're just there like, huh, huh, so what do you do here? I'm interested in knowing what you like. Okay, that is what most people say. So you can tell that is the initial uh, kind of thing that is going on here. Okay, so things got or went out very fast. So the school guy says, the school does not operate on losses. Yeah, and the building, you remember the building that I showed you when I was starting this video? The building costed them 25 million dollars. Okay, so being a typical Kenya, I usually a typical Kenya, I usually add two zeros. 
So 25 million dollars, that is about 25 billion. Yeah, they are about. Wait, I need to do it. <laughs> I need to do it physically for me to be sure that I'm giving you 25 million dollars. One, two. Oh. Hmm? What am I doing? One. Okay, so that is 2.5 billion Kenya shillings. Yeah. So what they are saying is they set up this school, this premium brand, at a cost of 2.5 billion dollars. That is the construction aspect of it. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into the minutes because you can read the minutes yourself. The thing that caught my attention was uh, the pointers that they gave because the parents are complaining about. Uh, not having money or sort of asking the school to cut down on the costs the school came out straight up straight ahead and said uh, we're not planning to operate on any losses so if you do not like how we operate the door is open so point number one as I said is uh, point number three the other ones are Kawaida stuff uh, every business is going through this tough situation caused by this COVID-19 thing Anyway, so what they are saying is they already gave 30%, 20%, 10% uh, discounts on the school fees. And just in case you're wondering how much people pay in this school, I'm going to pull up... Uh, so this is the school, the fee, the fee structure for 2018-2019. So technically, these are the figures. So year one, 325,000. <laughs> wow okay little brookies so the, the kids who are in uh, not even lower primary in the kindergarten level it's 90,000 for 5,000 or 60,000 so year one is 325,000 so if these are the kind of figures that are not your everyday kind of the figures that come up in your everyday kind of conversation then you already know that this is not the school for you uh, or, Okay, so going back to the point, the, the, like I said, the, the page that caught my attention, I feel like I'm rambling, like I'm all over the place. I'm just excited about this whole conversation. So the good thing is I'm pulling up the screen and you can do sort of a comparison uh, and make your own analysis. But I just want to focus on uh, which page was it? Which page, which page? So they were saying that you're not forced to behave a student at the school yeah i think it's this page here so they are saying <laughs> we gave you a distress fund so technically a distress fund means uh, an amount you are able to access and then pay later so they're saying we gave you a distress fund which has little uptake so the parents are not taking this fund because number one according to the school is they are too embarrassed to take <laughs> the distress funds because if you have a, a kid going to school the last thing you want it's for the school to think that you cannot afford them so that is one of the things they are citing as the reasons why the parents are complaining parents are complaining and then the other thing is your demands were unreasonable so i think these demands are in reference to the court case that is ongoing and they are saying that if you cannot afford to pay for our services for the services of my school you have options option number one leave the Number three, we'll destroy brand, the brand of Brook House and we put up up to $25 million structure, in the, which is the best in Africa. Okay, okay, makes sense. Then again, if, you, if, you're looking for, if you're looking at this situation from the owner's perspective, then this makes a lot of sense because I don't think there are any tax reliefs that you're going to get as a school or as an institution or even a company just because the, the country is going through a situation. So at the owner of the school, chances are you've already positioned your pricing. Okay, you've already positioned your pricing of best of of my microphone just went off. Let me see. Uh, one minute, one minute, one minute. I don't know what is happening. It keeps going off. Okay, much better. So what I'm saying is, if you're the owner of the school, chances are you've already priced your school fees or fee structure 
based off of your cost, the cost that you're meeting as an institution. So when guys come and ask you, or even if the court comes and asks you to slash it by 50%, then you, as a business person, you'll have problems with that kind of conversation. So I don't have to go into the details of the meeting or, or the minutes because I'm not necessarily uh, in a position to, but I just want to pick your brain based off of the conversation that is ongoing online. What are your thoughts? What do you think these parents should do? Because there's someone else who did an analysis and he was talking about how people uh, in the middle class sort of strain themselves. Let me see if I can find it. So he was talking about people who take loans. I think it's around here. Uh -huh. So he was saying as a middle class, you take a loan, take your kid to Brookhouse and then He was technically talking about people who take loans to sort of live this lifestyle that they cannot necessarily sustain and a big chunk of that tweet was true because we are in a society where impressions matter to most of us and uh, did it go off again <laughs> impressions matter impressions matter to most people and we end up putting ourselves in situations that not necessarily Basically, situations that we can avoid, yeah? And, I don't know. Some people are saying that if you're the kind of parent who is complaining about this whole situation, then chances are you are the kind of person who's taking loans to take your kids to brokers. And as a parent, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a side. I'm gonna pick a side on this particular issue. As a parent, the one thing you want is good education for your kids. And no matter what you have to do, you have to do it because at the end of the day that is according to me the best gift that you can give your kids that and of course allowing them to be whatever or whatever they want to be anyway that has been my time for today i feel like i'm rambling in this video it's only that i'm super excited and i'm trying to do a reaction video so we learn as we do it so my layer too anyway leave your thoughts below if you like this kind of content as i'm trying to figure out what I'm, I'm supposed to be doing okay i'm doing a lot of this in this video <laughs> anyway if you like the content on this channel or in, on any other the content on this channel or any other video that I, okay the videos are this please give us a like subscribe like share comment and i guess i'll see you tomorrow remember to tune in for employed like i said um, in the earlier video that i posted Tomorrow's episode is a long one, but it's a very nice one. Make sure to tune in and listen. And I guess, peace out. Bye.